Welcome to this short video on how to create a System 1 electronic discharge letter, the doctor role. This video will demonstrate the process of creating a basic letter. Click on the red question mark button on the toolbar for help and support materials. Click on the quick jump button discharge from the home screen. The discharge workflow screen appears. You can sort the list by clicking on one of the column headings. You can filter the list to just show your patient. Type your patient's name or hospital number into the patient field and press enter or click search. You can also filter on ward, consultant or speciality in a similar way. When the only show my work tick box is ticked, you will only see patients at the doctor stage of the process. To see patients who are at other stages of the letter creation process, take the tick out of the box. Your patient will appear on the discharge status screen at your stage, the prescribed TTOs and complete questionnaire stage. Please note that TTOs are not prescribed in System 1 at Mid-Yorks. Discharge medication is prescribed on the eMed system and sent electronically to the GP. Right-click on your patient and select Retrieve Patient or double-click. The discharge summary is created by completing the questionnaire. Check that a questionnaire has not already been started for this admission. Select the questionnaire button from the toolbar. Check that the patient is the correct patient using the demographics on screen. Ensure that the questionnaire is linked to the correct admission for this letter. If it is not linked to the correct admission, click on the magnifying glass to select the correct admission. Complete all fields relevant to your patient. Mandatory fields are denoted by red numbers. Complete all AKI fields fully. Sequin payments depend upon this. It is important that any changes to medication, frequency or dosage and reasons for the changes are recorded to match the eMeds discharge medications list on CETO. For this video, only the mandatory fields will be completed. In the Diagnosis field, I will type Sprain. The fields expand to hold the text that you type. Text can be copied and pasted into the questionnaire from other sources. How you type the text into the questionnaire is how it will display in the finished letter. Therefore, spelling, punctuation, capitalisation and the use of abbreviations is important. Right click to display two spell check options. I will choose yes to has the patient been diagnosed with acute kidney injury. I will choose stage two. Details of an AKI medicine review must be added to the medication changes field, question 13. Select core mobilities. A standard list of 58 for payment by results list appears. Select all that are appropriate. Non known and other are available at the bottom of the list. A free text field is available to record other. History type I will type fell off pavement. Examination swollen ankle. You would complete these fields as appropriate for your patient. As we have selected yes to question 2, acute kidney injury, you see a red and black reminder message. You will not see this message if you had selected no to question 2. Enter medication changes. I will enter reduce frusamide from 40 mgbd to once a day to reduce side effects, started by soprolol, 5-MG-OD for hypertension. Any changes to medication, frequency, dosage and reasons for the change recorded here must match the eMeds discharge medications list in CETO. 
In the allergies field, I will type NA. Ongoing care arrangements complete as appropriate for your patient. Again, as we have selected yes to question 2, AKI, you see a red and black reminder message. You would not have seen this message if you had selected no to question 2. For the gold standards framework field, I will select yes. I will choose amber, select yes to DNA CPR is appropriate and select yes to a valid DNA CPR has been completed. You will not see questions 17, 18 and 19 if no is chosen to question 16. Patient has been identified as meeting the criteria for gold standards framework. Actions for GP, I will type use and ease to be repeated weekly. Complete the additional follow-up actions as appropriate for your patient. The discharge date is not entered at this stage. The date auto-populates onto the letter when it is sent to the GP as long as the patient has been discharged from the trust pass system. Contact details, enter in an extension or bleep number. The copy letter to go to field can be completed with details of other recipients. These copy letters will be printed and posted by ward staff. They are not sent electronically through system one. For full ward details, type in the ward name in full. The site patient discharged from I will choose Pinderfields Hospital. The questionnaire has been completed. Cancel will remove the questionnaire from the patient record. If you need to add more information later on, click Save for Future Editing. When complete, click Save Final Version, which would lock the questionnaire from editing. The letter can't be sent electronically until saved as final version. The questionnaire shows in the questionnaires node and displays in the right hand pane. The patient record can be saved at any time during the letter creation process. If the patient record has not been saved, the questionnaire is not saved into the record and the questionnaires node will be empty. Remember, if the questionnaire has not been saved as final version, the discharge letter cannot be printed. Try not to get save as final version for the questionnaire and save in the changes to the record confused as these are two separate actions. Click on the green save button from the toolbar. A dialog box will display asking if you want to move the letter on to the next stage. Be careful, read the dialog box and ensure you are making the right decision. Yes will move the workflow to the next stage, the pharmacy stage. As TTOs are not prescribed in System 1, the letter does not need to go to the pharmacy stage. Do not select yes. No will save the changes, but the patient will stay at the doctor stage. Yes but skip stages should always be selected because pharmacy do not need to receive the letter. You are presented with a list of stages that can be skipped. Choose the appropriate stage to skip to and click OK. We will choose the nurse stage. You must enter a reason for skipping the pharmacy stage. Enter EMED CETO process. Click OK. The patient record is saved and closed and you are returned back to the discharge workflow screen. Untick only show my work to see the discharge letter at the nurse stage. If you need to make any changes to the questionnaire, you will need to move the questionnaire back to the doctor stage of the process. To send a letter back to a previous stage, right mouse click on your patient, hover over send to previous stage 
and select the doctor stage, prescribe TTOs and complete questionnaire. Type in a reason for moving back to a previous stage. We will type save questionnaire as final version. Click OK. The patient is now back at the prescribed TTOs and complete questionnaire stage. We have made the changes we need to to the questionnaire. Click on the green save button on the toolbar to save all information into the patient record. Remember to choose an appropriate save option. Yes, but skip stages should always be used if the letter does not need to remain at the doctor stage. Select the nurse stage, click OK and enter the reason EMED's CETO process. Click OK. It is a requirement that every patient is given a discharge letter on leaving hospital. Letters must only be printed at the nurse stage of the process. Pharmacy do not require a copy of the letter. To print one copy of the letter, right mouse click on the patient, select preview letter. All recipients receive the same letter. Click OK. Microsoft Word is loading, merging the trust template and questionnaire. Once the letter has loaded, use the usual Microsoft Word printing to print a copy for this patient. When you have finished printing, close Microsoft Word. That was how to create a System 1 electronic discharge letter, the doctor roll. For troubleshooting information, please see the System 1 discharge letters pocket guide. There are also other short videos available on the internet page. For training queries, contact Digital Training on extension 36545 email myh-tr.itcostbookings at nhs.net or see our intranet pages. For smart card issues, ring extension 5000 option 2 or see the iServices intranet page.